15 on this Wednesday. Back to our all day special abortion in Arizona. More women are using online pharmacies to self manage abortions, taking their health into their own hands as access is cut off in the wake of Roe v. Wade being overturned. Our Nohilani Grab speaking with our health insider about the risks of not getting guidance from a doctor first. When Plan B doesn't prevent a pregnancy, the abortion pill is now becoming known as Plan C. We use the term very uh, loosely abortion pill, but it is two different medications um, given at two different times. ABC 15 Health Insider Dr. Janice Johnston says the term abortion pill can be misleading because it's also widely prescribed during miscarriage. In that instance, the medication helps clear the uterus and can save the mother from severe Severe illness, but the process is similar for terminating an unwanted pregnancy, prompting some women to order online. Dr. Johnston warns the medication isn't safe for everyone, like those with blood clotting issues or ectopic pregnancy. We do actually see a fair amount of patients um, with those conditions. Sometimes they're unaware aware of that. Online pharmacies charging two to four hundred dollars, unverified pills, some coming from other countries, and you don't have to talk to a doctor before or after. That can be dangerous if questions come up. What happens if things go wrong? Um, how long is bleeding normal? Um, uh, what happens if I develop a fever? You know, there's, so there's things that can happen. Sometimes they might be normal and self-limiting, um, but sometimes they, they need help and they need um, medical directions. Nohe Lani Graf, ABC 15, Arizona. And there are nonprofits like PlanCPills.org working to help women navigate physician supported websites so they don't miss critical medical advice as well as helping navigate the laws surrounding telehealth prescriptions because in a lot of cases this is uncharted territory.